so we're here at Bundy Hill and we're working on autumn olive removal. So all these plants you see here behind me and along the edge here, these are autumn olive. It's a non-native species. It's, it's really invasive. It produces lots of berries. Birds eat the berries. They digest the fruit, but they don't digest the seed. So when that bird flies off and leaves its droppings somewhere, those berries hit the ground and they grow real easily. It crowds out native plants and it actually changes the soil chemistry. So if you have a real big infestation of autumn olive, it ends up you have a location where other species don't grow well. So what we're gonna do today is we're cutting the autumn olive within a few inches of ground level. Um, I'm gonna be cutting with a chainsaw. We have other people that are cutting with hand saws and pruners. And then within a minute or so of cutting it, you want to treat it with glyphosate or a brush killer. If you wait too long, it seals itself up and can't intake that glyphosate and the plant won't die. So if we treat it incorrectly, where we cut it a year ago, you'll see lots of plants growing up from that initial stump. So the whole point is to treat it correctly the first time. Um, ideally, it would never get to this condition. The better we can do to eliminate this large amount, then in the future, we can just get into a control mode where we have small plants scattered here and there that are really easy to remove. But here at Bundy Hill, we've got pretty good growth of it so far. So it's unfortunately starting to rain. And if it rains too hard, we're not gonna be able to continue. The reason we can't do that is the Roundup will wash away. I'm gonna get started before we can't do anything. And it's gonna be loud. We've cleared all this through here already. So you can see some of the stumps down in there. 